In this section, we've discussed how to assess yourself by identifying your potential biases and reflecting on your level of expertise to handle a particular problem. David, are there situations when you know that you're a novice or an expert, or do you know when you're using type 1 or type 2 thinking? That's a great question. I mean, I've, I worked in the ER. I've worked there for a long time. So uh, there's definitely things that I, I don't have to think about like I used to when I was a novice. Uh, they just come naturally. Um, but of course, if I'm hungry or tired or stressed, then, um, well, sometimes I could have maybe a bad behavior be automatic too. So it's, but other times I could pop out and uh, use my type one thinking. And certainly there's tons of stuff that I'm still a novice at, uh, even in that environment. So you could definitely tell. Good points. For this activity, we invite you to watch a scene from our crisis scenario. In this scene, Dr. Boyd, the attending physician, needs to make some quick decisions, while Diane, the bedside nurse, has some concerns about the patient. We want you to watch this scene and consider the following. What type of thinking is each person employing, type one or type two? What possible cognitive biases are impacting each person? And finally, who is the expert in the room? And what specifically is their expertise? Take notes as you watch. An activity assessing your knowledge of this principle will follow immediately after.